Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Harvey's New Eyes. Last time, we lost our map in the jail cell, and the only way to get in is to get wasted. And in order to get wasted, we need to release the block on drinking alcohol. So let's see what we can do. Hello? Step right up! Step right up and admire the latest accomplishments in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin-firming materials from outer space. Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. A brand new product, the pill for in-between for all those who didn't have time before and don't want to wait till afterwards. Step right up, marvel at the sights and take a free sample of Alcofix. The exclusive miracle treatment with an alcohol base. It tastes 100 proof and works 100 proof. Hello, little lady. Are you interested in a sample bottle of Alcofix, the miracle brandy? Uh-huh. Hmm. You actually look pretty healthy to me. And I'm afraid even Alcofix won't fix that problem with your ears. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? Uh-uh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you, but I can't give you a sample of Alcofix like you are now. Come back when you're sick. Well, shoot. We need to get sick. Well, remember that jar of mayonnaise we have? The little uh, thought uh, Lily had about that was that uh, it can make you sick if you leave it out in the sun. Oh, I didn't want to go here. The arrows. There we go, to the prairie. Let's see what's over this way. What do we have here? A sign informed Lily that this reconstruction of an original Indian sundial had been donated by the Association of Experimental Art. It was possible to turn the pedestal. I don't think Indians had sundials. But we turn it and we actually can make the sun hop around. <laughs> Look at it go. Just just hopping around. Going here and there. I'm not sure that's how sundials actually worked. I might be wrong on that. But it just doesn't seem like we have that much control over the sun or even over our own planet really we're just kind of kind of here there we go got the achievement <laughs> yeah there's so many things that you just have to do repetitively and get an achievement and uh, the little picture isn't appearing right now because I'm not actually online because games the game seems to work better well any game seems to work better especially when you're recording if you're not actually hooked up to the internet because there's less that it has to do anyway And rancid mayonnaise. Yum yum. Lily looked around. Why was there never anyone around to stop you from doing something when you needed it the most? <sighs> yeah, she's not excited about this. Oh. <laughs> Drinking regular mayonnaise is really mayonnaise is nasty no matter how you ingest it, but rancid mayonnaise, man. Lily seemed to be surrounded by strange birds today. How sweet. Meep. Yeah, yeah. Right the back at you. Tell me, uh, you weren't planning on decaying in the next couple of days, were you? Uh-uh. Ah, oh, well. No problem, huh? I should be cutting down on carcasses anyway. My dietician is a pulling his hair out. More fresh fruit, he says. I was sorry to know it's in. I know all that. But what can I do, huh? I just love that rotting stuff. I just had to smell the rotting flesh. And I start circling. And honestly, out here in the desert, huh? It's hard to maintain a healthy diet. You try and leave something for later, and the bacteria just move right in. You could get the most horrible diseases, huh? Festering boils, oozing eczema. Oh, man. Oh, this talk of food has made me hungry. Please, uh, leave me alone with my growling belly. So I guess that's the hint about the mayonnaise. Anyway, now that we are sick, let's show this guy. Step right up. 
Step right up and admire the latest accomplishments in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream, natural yeah, yeah. food, a brand no new No idea what product. you're talking about. But for all those, step right up and take a freeze. It tastes 100 proof. Oh, it's you again. No, don't bother coming any closer. Not unless you've picked up a contagious disease since I last saw you. Uh-huh. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? She has a cute belly. Why, hello. What do we have here? <laughs> You've really caught something very special there. Congratulations. Ew. This definitely qualifies you to test a sample of Alcofix, the miracle brandy. To be honest, you almost look overqualified. Your rash is so severe. I'm not sure even Alcafix can heal it. Bravo! You might as well just take the entire bottle. Nice. Oh, there we go. It wasn't letting me do anything for a bit. The color of the bottle reminded Lily of someone. You hmm. must not touch alcohol. Huh? Had that bottle just talked? Hmm. I have an idea here. Let's put this silly rabbit on ice. Huh? <laughs> Are you <laughs> completely nuts? You could easily get sick of cold, which does. <laughs> Which doesn't mean that, 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 that I'm sick, uh, and I don't n n n need this uh, this alcoholic uh, the devil stuff either. Hmm. If we can get him to drink the alcohol, perhaps then it would release our block because he'd be contradicting himself. And if we have a look at this, the red chunks in the handkerchief were perhaps a clue that Lily needed medical help. <laughs> Oh, but we can use it, since he seems to have a cold himself. Oh, th th thanks. We're contagious, right? What's that? Quick, the medicine. So. Yum! Finally! Tasty! So nice! So nice! <clears throat> the genie had broken his own rule. Apparently, it was okay to have a swig or two in certain situations. What? What you doing? Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Oh no. And we have broken our third block. The drunk Harvey. Believe it or not, the attributes of these bunnies will come into play at some point. You'll just have to wait and see. And now. What's the matter? Is something wrong with your drink? Uh -uh. <laughs> hmm. What's the matter? It tastes great. That bubbling in your lungs is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wada, wada, wada. What? <laughs> anyway, while he's doing that, because he's a wimp. And we can bust that open. The bartender had already punched a huge dent in the table. Because every time that radio does that, it makes me think, oh crap, the audio is going bad. But no, that's not the case. Anyway, we should be pretty wasted. So let's take the alcohol test.
What's this? You're as drunk as a skunk. Come on, off to the drunk tank with you. All right. Let this be a lesson to you. Drinking at your age. Tisk, tisk, tisk. No kidding. Drinking and at finally, any age, really. There it was, the map. Lily was excited. But each their own, I guess. Oh, a hello. hamster. So that was the mystery behind the escaping map. Maybe Lily had finally found a new friend. But maybe everything was as before. Why did that hamster have robotic parts? We'll never know. So let's take a look at the map finally. And finally, there it was. The map. Edna had hidden in this cave by Moor Lake. But... Wait a second. Lily already knew that. The map was, in reality, pretty useless. Especially when Lily thought about everything she had done to get her hands on it. No kidding. Oh well, we got it there and we needed to get it. So anyway, I'm going to uh, save right now because there's a mini game coming up. And I want to play it so I can show you guys how to do it. And then skip it so that I can get the achievement for skipping all the mini games. So, one second. So let's talk to the police uh, officer. What's the matter? You've already had enough of the filtered air? You should have thought of that before reaching for the bottle. <sighs> oh, come on. Don't be so sad. That's exactly the kind of behavior that once made me release Edmund the Slasher. You can't even imagine how much trouble I got into for that. It took weeks until little Melanie's parents spoke to me again. <sighs> oh, I'm just too soft-hearted. I'll let you go, but you have to promise me never to get into trouble again. Can you do that? Yeah, we can promise that. Uh oh. You must not lie. You hmm. must not lie. That's too bad. Uh uh. Yeah. Then I can't let you go. You can say plenty of things about me, but not that I don't learn from my mistakes. Okay, so we need to undo our block on lying. So... Woo! The ball of wool! Can I see it again? Uh-huh. Woogie! Lily had often wondered about justice at the convent. <sighs> Hi, Lily. Don't tell me you want to get out. Uh-huh. I thought so. But you'd hardly be sitting in there if you knew how to behave properly, right? Come. <sighs> be quiet. You weren't about to contradict me, were you? Uh-huh. Well, I can't object to that. Contradictions are great. Sometimes I start contradicting at breakfast. For example, three slices of toast. Yum, delicious toast. Um, 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 um. Uh, but, but that would be a lie. And we both know. You must not lie. Lies are evil. Uh-uh. What? Of course lying is evil. Wait, I'll show you on this blackboard. Take a close look at this board. It shows some of the basic principles of our legal system. For example, that lying is evil. Um... What do you mean? No. Of course lying is evil. It can easily be deduced from the four top principles. God is good and true, but the devil is evil and has great wisdom. God is truth because he is full of wisdom too. But the devil lies with all of his evil. That's why lies are always evil. You can construct the chain of logic leading to this conclusion yourself. It only takes three small steps to get the result. You can try it yourself. 
Anyway, this guy's logic is so flawed and so oversimplified that we can easily come up with a contradiction to what he's saying. So, uh, let us go with... God is good and true. So we need to kind of uh, equate two things and see what they equal to. And then, God is truth because he's full of wisdom. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, good equals wisdom. Yes. That's logical. Let's see, so uh, the devil is evil with great wisdom. However, wisdom equals good. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. That's logical. Wait a minute, actually. I want to undo that one. Um. Can I undo it? Yeah, I need to redo right. this. Lies, lies, but that can't be true. Wait, did I accidentally do it? Uh, everything seems to fit. But, but I that's... what? I accidentally I I just picked two random things and put them there because <sighs> I was going to want redo this. Oh, jeez. Again, getting uh, flashbacks to Justicia was wrong. It seemed that lies weren't so bad after all. Lily had removed another block. Yes, someone go back and look at my logic on that and see if I was right, because I don't think that was the right way to do it. Anyway, yeah, that stabbing thing. Once again, got me flashbacks to uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. And we get a fourth Harvey. Yeah, I did not do that on purpose, but it did the thing. Anyway, let me reload to uh, before then, so I can skip that. Alright, we're back. Oh, come on. Don't be so sad. I'll let you go, but you have to promise me. Can you yeah, do... Yeah, yeah, I can... I can... Wait a minute. I didn't undo the block. You must... I forgot to do that. So, go to restrictions. Lying. There we go. Mm. Oh, come. I'll let you. But you have. Can you do. Yes. Uh -huh. So you promise? No more trouble, okay? Uh huh. And you're not fibbing? Uh uh. Okay, then. I guess I'll just have to believe you then. Welcome to freedom. Alright, so we should have just a clear path out of here. Let this be a lesson to you. Uh huh. As long as it's still dark outside, you should really stay indoors. It's much too dangerous out there at night. Huh? It's best to just stay at home. Uh oh. So. Uh, how do we. There we go. But really, where are you going? You heard that it's dangerous out there. You must not hang around dangerous places. This again. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. At a spelling bee, for example. Or a Rolf Harris concert. Mm. Uh, Rolf Harris? No, that's probably not the best idea for little girls. Oh boy, if you don't know about that, look it up. Yeesh. Anyway. Uh, this guy just keep, kept his mouth shut. But now we have to undo another block. Yes, yes, we've been through this before. So again, there's coffee if you want to get out of there. So what can we do to undo that block? I guess we can uh, do some more... Exploring. Hmm. So we haven't been to the Indian Cemetery yet. Oh, hello. As Lily stared into the flames, she suddenly became dizzy. Hi, Lily. Did you enjoy your little excursion? Uh-huh. That's odd. Let's talk to the fire. Huh? 
Is that you, little girl? What are you doing in limbo? Don't tell me you're... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm dead. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. You poor little thing. I hope you remember to get someone to put coins for the ferryman on your eyes. Uh-uh. That's just terrible. It's hard to pass through limbo without any pocket change. And, unfortunately, there's only one way to bring worldly goods into the spirit realm, or with you in a trance state, to place them on the eyes. Ah. So we need money for that poker game to get some cigars. Because, uh... Well, let me just show you something. So yeah, we don't bring any stuff with us when we cross over. But she's saying we can if they're placed on our eyes as we die. Somewhere on the horizon, a donut factory seemed to be having problems with its chimney. Anyway, we need to make smoke signals of our own. Why? I don't know. But we do just because there's smoke there. We need cigars, but in order to do that we need money, but we don't have any money. Hmm. So if we drink some coffee. Lily wasn't sure if someone is young, but there was yeah, no yeah. behavioral block, so it was probably uh, okay. I don't think I've showed that before. But yeah, there's no behavioral block on drinking coffee, even though little girls shouldn't be drinking coffee anyway. Incredible. The coffee was so strong that it jarred Lily out of her trance. Yeah, we still won't be able to go outside, I don't think, because of the uh, block. Anyway, we have some coins here. Let's use them to get a flounder. Lily was astounded. A flounder! And we can actually... Lily was astounded. A flounder! Let's see... Is it we do with that? I'm trying to remember. Um. Should be. Do I have anything? Allium. Am I missing something around here? Let me check. I feel like there's something I forgot to get. Where are you going? You heard that it's dangerous out there. You must not hang around dangerous places. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. At a spelling bee, for example. Or... Yeah, yeah. Um... I... Don't know... We're supposed to inflate this thing, but I'm forgetting how. Uh, I'll figure this out next time on Let's Play Harvey's New Eyes. Thank you for watching and have a good day.